welcome back the next topic is the removing ambiguity okay first let me tell you why we are going to remove the ambiguity you know context free grammars are very useful in designing the parser i mean very useful in designing the compiler i mean parser is one of the face of the compiler or the name for the parser is the syntax analysis okay so why we are removing the ambiguity is let's if for a same string there is more than one pass tree or more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation okay so parser is going to confuse which one is correct okay first let me tell you generally for example one person name is the one person name is arvin one person name is arvin i can call him as the in short name it is aru so one person name is arvin and his short name is aru okay now by two names i can call the same person okay for, for example uh, one person name is uh, archana and i can call her like in uh, other name uh, like krishna kirtana krishna kirtana okay so same girl i am asking by i am calling by two names archana and krishna kirtana okay if you call there is some confusion confusion either the person name is achana or krishna kirtana either the person name is arvin or aru okay this is a problem in general uh, real life okay similarly compiler also get confused if you write more than one pass tree for the same string so there is a confusion for the compiler in order to avoid those confuses confuses so we can remove the ambiguity from the grammar okay let's take uh, one example grammar let's say example grammar is the e tends to e tends to e plus e slash e star e slash id slash id now you know what are the non terminals in the grammar is e only what are the terminals in the grammar is plus star id okay so let's write a derivation tree derivation tree or leftmost derivation or rightmost derivation for the string for the string id plus id star id okay let's write the derivation process so i can take this production e tends to e tends to e plus e e tends to e plus e now i am writing leftmost derivation e can replace with to id so now it is id plus e now i am writing leftmost derivation right so now e can replace with to e star e now it is id plus i sorry e star e okay then what is left most variable is e now i can replace e with id again so id plus id star e okay then e can replace with id again so now it is id plus id star id so then what is past tree for this one is so e tends to e plus e okay then e is replaced with id then e is replaced with e star e now e is replaced with id e is replaced with e is replaced with id so concatenation from left to right it is id plus id star id some left to right concatenation is the yield of the past tree okay similarly you can write the rightmost derivation also okay i am taking e tends to e star e okay so i am writing rightmost derivation so i am replacing rightmost variable with id now it is e star id now i can replace e with to e plus e now it is e plus e star id then i can replace e with id again now it is e plus id star id then i can replace e with id now it is id plus id star id so you can write the past tree for this how we can write the past tree is e tell e e star e now e is replaced with id now e is replaced with e plus e now e is replaced with id e is replaced with id so concatenation from left to right is the id plus id star id this is traversal of this one okay is the yield of the past id plus id star id 
Here, here see for the same string id plus id star id there exists more than uh, one pass tree this is one pass tree and this is another pass tree okay that's why this grammar is the ambiguous grammar so this grammar is the ambiguous grammar now our topic is how to remove ambiguity how to remove ambiguity okay so how to eliminate one more pass tree from the grammar that's what how to remove ambiguity meaning that for the grammar there should exist only one pass tree there should exist only one leftmost derivation only one rightmost derivation okay see to remove ambi to remove ambiguity there is no straight forward method there is no straight algorithm how to convert an ambiguous grammar into an ambiguous grammar it's not at all possible to automatically to convert an ambiguous grammar into an ambiguous grammar okay so you have to analyze the grammar why ambiguity exist where ambiguity exist how we can remove the ambiguity how can we remove the ambiguity okay see take this same grammar same grammar there are two reasons why ambiguity is exist okay we can identify those two reasons there the problem with this grammar is precedence is not taken care what is the problem with this grammar is precedence not taken care okay not taken care okay this is the first problem then second problem with this grammar meaning that why ambiguity is existing is associativity of operator is not implemented associativity associ associativity is not taken care is not taken care okay so this is the two problems with this grammar if you taken care about these two properties we can convert an ambiguous grammar into an ambiguous grammar okay see let's let's see what is precedency is precedency of operators okay if you take this if you take this one how you can how you are deriving id plus id star id is id plus id star id is okay see while writing leftmost derivation we we replace e with to e we replace e with to e plus e i mean we are replacing e tends to e plus e we are replacing e with to e plus e or we are replacing e with to e star e okay so plus star i mean plus star all are at the equal precedence we are not giving precedence for plus is high precedence or star is less precedence or star is high precedence or plus is less precedence we are not taken care that is the problem with this grammar okay so there is a precedency fail in this grammar okay then associate next one associativity is not taken care what is associativity means okay for example i want to derive the string id plus id plus id okay so how we can write the grammar is how you can write the derivation is e tends to e plus e okay now you can replace leftmost variable so that you can write again e plus e so that id plus id plus id or else you can replace first rightmost variable so that again you can write e plus e so id plus id plus id okay so there is no proper associativity for the plus you can replace leftmost variable or you can replace rightmost variable so there is a fail of the there is a fail in this grammar to uh, implementation of the associativity okay if you implement if you implement these two properly you can eliminate ambiguity from this grammar okay now see let's see how we can implement precedency how we how we can given the precedency okay if you take this grammar okay generally generally what are the terminals in the grammar is plus star id okay which one has the highest precedence highest precedence is for the id okay then next next precedence is for the star and next precedence is for the plus okay right so what is the highest precedence is id then next precedence is star and next precedence is plus okay now while you are writing the grammar my my instruction is don't define the operator which has the i mean the terminal which has the highest precedence as, at first try to implement the grammar uh, for the terminal which has the least precedence try to implement plus is first then star is next then id is next so the same grammar how we can write it as the so they the same grammar how we can write after giving the precedency is 
so i can write is by introducing the new non terminals this is only one possibility okay so now we are writing plus is at first so i can write the same grammar is e tends to e tends to e e plus t i am writing so i am introducing one more non terminal okay then slash t slash t so instead of writing e tends to e plus e e star e id at one level now i am dividing those levels giving i am defining first plus because it is the least precedence okay so e tends to e plus t slash t okay now what is the next next one we can define star okay what is star e tends to e star e okay now how we can write this t tends to now we need to define star at next level right so t tends to t star by introducing new non terminal is f okay t star f slash f okay slash f okay then so star is also implement then we need to implement id so id should reach at last so how we can write is now new non terminal is f now define f f tends to id f tends to id okay this is now properly implemented plus we are giving first preference for plus next preference for star next preference for id okay so this is highest preference for id next highest next preference is for star next preference is for plus but we are defining in reverse uh, first define the least preference next preference and next preference okay this is how precedence is given precedence is given to the operator uh, given to the terminals okay then how we can give the associativity for the operators is let's say for example for example uh, we have plus we have plus means so plus is the uh, i'm giving plus is the is the left associative left associative left associative so if it is left associative write the grammar in the left recursive left recursive so left recursive right okay then if star is left associative write the write the grammar as the left left recursive only left recursive only if any terminal has the right associative write the right recursion grammar what is left recursive grammar is okay this is the production symbol production symbol this is the a then if i written a alpha what is meaning that now a can replace with a alpha then again a can replace with a alpha then again a can replace with a alpha a alpha okay so and so and so on and so on and so on how we can write and so on how we can write okay left recursive left recursive this is not defining any terminals left recursive okay right so plus means we can give the left recursion star means we can give the left recursion okay by observing this grammar so this is the grammar after giving the precedence okay there also e tends to e plus t left recursive t tends to t star f left recursive f tends to id okay so this is already in left recursive from i mean there is associativity for plus and star okay so this is the grammar final grammar if it is the ambiguous grammar this is the unambiguous grammar for this one this is how we can remove the ambiguity there is no strike forward method you have to apply you have to observe the grammar why ambiguity exist okay how we can remove the ambiguity okay then you can cross check whether your unambiguous grammar is equal to the ambiguous grammar okay from this grammar we generated uh, we derived this uh, string in two ways that's why it is ambiguous grammar now derive the same string if it derives if the same string is derived by this grammar in only one way now we can prove that it is an ambiguous grammar let me let me cross check this one also okay so i want to derive what id plus id star id so how we can write the derivation is e tends to e tends to e plus t e plus t now e can replace with what e can replace with t okay now t plus t yes then next t can replace with what f okay now it is f plus t now f can replace with what id now it is id plus t now so id plus now t can replace with what t star f so now it is t star f now id plus now t can replace with f okay now it is f star f now f can replace with id now it is id plus id star f now finally f is replaced with id again id plus id star id okay so the same string we derived okay 
there is no other way to derive the same string okay that's why it is an ambiguous grammar okay this is what about how we can remove the ambiguity